Hey guys, it's Xavier Kelly. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through how to um, basically move your site from a multi-site on WordPress to a single WordPress site. Um, it's gonna be a basic, basic tutorial. I'm gonna go over a lot of just the, you know, just what you need to do and kind of go over in depth and kind of show you what I, what just the word of thousands needs to go and how to move it over. And that it's not really that hard. It's pretty simple. Um, but guys, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Um, you know, just head over to my channel, head over to the um, underneath the video, just subscribe or go to the channel, subscribe. Um, I'm making videos about you know just my my journey as a digital seller. I go behind the scenes stuff on that Dig digital product and software development tips, how to sell services and how to sell digital products. Um, so guys, let's get straight into it. The first thing you're gonna do, um, either on your local or on a server, you're gonna wanna gonna set up a clean install of WordPress. This is WordPress 4.8. Um, we have our basic every like basically just our basic WordPress files, our WP include file which we don't touch, um, our WP admin file we don't touch, and we have our WP content files with the basic plugins and the basic themes that come with it. So what what we're gonna want to do is go through and then um, really just get through the point where we're gonna um, just move the files over and decide on what files need to move over. So basically, the biggest difference between um, as you guys can see. In a in a WordPress, a regular WordPress install, you have your plugins and themes, and then your plugins you have for just one site. You have all your plugin themes in one site. Basically, the biggest thing that many people use for multi sites, if you guys already know, if you move your sites from there, is that you use it to be able to um, have one installation of WordPress and have multiple different sites for now that one installation. So if you go in and you, you see, you go into the WordPress content folder of your your dev site on this one right here too as well. You'll see when when you get into here that Get, let's get back out of this one here. So as you see, this is the regular one here. You go into the content folder. So actually, the first thing you're gonna do um, when you have your um, installation in right here, go ahead. If you're moving everything over, or if you don't have a clean WordPress install, you want to go to your WP config file um, on yours. So on here, right here, you're gonna see, and then you need to go ahead and head down to. And hit down closer to the bottom and you need to remove this part right here you need to disable multi-site and then from there um you want to go in and from this when you want to disable multi-site you want to go through and then you want to go straight into the wp content folder and then from there you'll see you have your plugins your themes Yep, draft, which is a um, plugin basically similar to a backup buddy, just do backups, upgrades, uploads. And if you go into your regular installation, you see that um, in the WP content folder, you have the same things. And once you put uploads on a clean install, you have your upload folder as well. So, a couple things you want to know that you're going to have every single plugin that's on every single site in this plugin folder. Um, if you know exactly which ones there are, you could just bring this whole thing over. Um, so, basically, just bring this over to here. Um, you bring this whole thing over right here. Um, I'm gonna let this run through real quick. So, so you're gonna want to take, um, like I said before, your plugins, bring them over here. Your themes, bring them over. Um, on your uploads, you gonna want to bring over. You wanna go into your sites. You have to find what site yours is. This one would be 10, and you bring this over. I'm not gonna bring it over right now because um, this server is running pretty slow right now, and I don't want this video to be five hours long. Um, but once you do that, as you guys can see, um, you know you need you need your you need your plugins, your themes, and if I was you, you can go through and remove some of the plugins that you want to bring over, or you bring over the specific ones that you have in that you have. Um, if you don't have too many sites in there, just bring all of them over, then delete them on this side, um, so you don't have to mess with it on this side. And then you can go to your themes, pick what themes you have, and do the same thing. And then if you have, um, you know. W3 um, cache on there, or any of these plugins that outside do the same thing, bring them over. Um, and then, as well, you know, you go to and you upload. Um, you need to find, go to sites, and you want you need to find exactly what one of these is the one that you have to do. Um, a good way to do this is by heading over to um, the database, and then in the database, um, you know, they had a number of like one, two, you know, all these numbers right here. Go to the one that's yours. Just look inside the options folder right here, and then it'll tell you the name of the actual site. And it's probably in the same name or the order that you created the site as well. 
and then if you do that right there um, then um, you'll have your you'll have a database and also too you come in and you go into your PHP my man um, and then you export and then you do a custom export and then you'll click let's say that you had number two and you just click just the number two ones out um, you export those number twos and then you'll come down to the very bottom and then you export um, the users as well so you'll find the users you can find those um, see where they are post meta yeah once you get the users table somewhere in it, somewhere in here Look it up real quick. So on this right here, we'll we'll get the users table. Um, see right here the user table right underneath right here you'll take these two out as well and then you'll and then I'll be your users and you're, and you're using meta um, and then then once you take those out then you have that and you realize that and you come in here get number two and bring this over um, create a go to your WP contents create an upload all right there bring these over remove it out of here and just grab all of these out here put in, in uploads and then you have that and then you export that out uh, you export the database out by itself and then you might got to go through and do some you know different things along that lines as well um here's a basically a big thing i did this earlier this week um for a client uh, i'm gonna leave link this down below but i just want to walk you through kind of the basic stuff so so basically this is from wp migrate um, db you don't have to get this to actually do it um it's a little bit takes a little bit longer to do that but basically you need to figure out your your prefix for your site which you can find in the config file too as well you'll see that you can fix file um underneath just where the table prefixes are in um in there um, then you can go through and export your SQL. Um, they walk you through that as well, and also to exporting your actual database and going through that. Um, it's pretty simple to do. A lot of people, I don't think, have there's not a lot of much information out there about that, but I think it really helps. And this really helps you out to actually understand. You take your plugins and put them into your plugins file in WP. Go into your themes, same thing. And then if I was you, I go through and clear these out with, with the plugins and themes you don't need. And then your uploads, just open your uploads folders and put your um, whatever your site went in, put the content inside of there. And then you have all your file structure set up. And then they don't say it on this one right here, but you have to go into the WP config file. If you just copy the whole site over, if you didn't go through and just move those stuff onto a new installation, you have to turn off the multi site or it won't work and you'll get an error. Um, and then the last part, you just go over and remove the users. It's pretty simple to do. Um, I did it for um, a site earlier this week. Um, it takes a little bit of time depending on how fast your slow your servers run. Basically, this is the one site. Then you go in there, you can create your new um, database right here, and you can just import anything you want to import into there. So, like, if you want to go through and then um, let me find mine right now. Go to the desktop, and then I have right here you, you you would go through and you can use like a if your database is too big you can use like a sql thing called sql dump splitter sql dump splitter it actually splits up your um sql database so just click that and then and you click the first one the base very bottom one first which is your structure and which is this one here's the data structure on there and you just upload that and just and this is on my local right here too as well so you can do, go through and do that and then you upload the other two from number one to number two and then you have your database up there um i was saying guys pretty simple to do um just just remember start with a clean installation a wordpress um as we have right here as we have right here so clean installation of wordpress um just put an upload file in here move everything over put your plugins your themes upload your database into there um, go into your config file as you see um, let's go into this one right here which this one since it's actually not set up until we set it up it's not gonna be there but you go to your config file this will be a sample one put your database name pass username password all that information right there um, if it's most likely it's on your local host put it there and then um, this would be auto generate and, and be a unique phrase to you 
um, when you do that this is what you need to look for um, when you when if you want to quickly find you know on the sites um, which one of them is actually um, you know for each site you want to see exactly your table table prefix um, for that one because basically you need to take whatever site you're in and you need to put that into into the section right there and just give yourself a table prefix you don't have to do that but you just move stuff over and to be honest you can do it with a clean install you don't have to even do that um, but if you're just bringing a multi-site over and then going from there then you have to do that um, but yeah it's pretty simple guys hope you guys enjoyed this right here um, as I said before you know guys go ahead and um, you know go ahead and and and, and you know just sorry I'm sorry here go back and just go ahead and subscribe to the channel I would love to have you on the channel as well and also guys I want to um, let you guys know on a new project that I've been working on it's called Kelly Beats um, it's a good way for basically um, different marketers and creators to find unlimited hip royalty free hip hop and pop music that you can put in your videos um, I have, a, I have 136 songs on there I'm gonna have another 159 I think ready to upload I create about six songs a day um, so I look like you have to check, check it out contact me if you want to get into the beta so guys if you haven't already go and subscribe to the channel right here hit the notification button and then guys you have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one